Okay, hello everyone. This is an extension of the discussion on limiting reactants and uh, theoretical and percent yields. Now, in some college level tests, we are actually asked to find out how much, okay, after getting the, after identifying the limiting reactant and the excess reactant, you might be asked how much of the excess reactant is left after the reaction. So, uh, as is stated here in the additional question. All right, so how much of the excess reactant is left after the reaction? Now, previously, we have identified that our limiting reactant is hydrazine, which is N2H4, and our excess reactant is N2O4. So therefore, the question is asking how much or what mass of N2O4 is left after the reaction. So uh, a way to approach this problem is that we must find out how much of the limiting reactant reacted with the excess reactant. All right. So find out through stoichiometric calculation how much of the limiting reactant, LR, reacted with our excess okay, reactant. Okay, or with the total number of the excess reactant. So therefore, we can proceed with the following uh, calculation. Right? We go back to our number or to the amount of our uh, limiting reactant, which is 1.00 times 10 to the 2. So we started with this. We And take note that we have already identified N2H4 as our limiting reactant. So we expect all or the 100 grams of N2H4 to be all used up and to have reacted with N2O4. All right. So we base it on that manner. We have to find out the number of grams of N2O4 that we acted okay, with our limiting reactant, with our LR. All right. So again, we start with our limiting reactant. We know that initially we have 1.00 times 10 to the power of 2 grams of N2 uh, H4. Okay. Again, this is our limiting reactant. And then we have to calculate the number of moles that we acted with N2O4. So that means we'll have one mole, N2H4 here. This is the molar mass of N2H4. Uh, again, we are performing another stoichiometric calculation. So this is mm. So that we can get the number of moles of N2H4. And then this is grams. Now we get to cancel grams of N2H4. Then after that one, we use the mole ratio. Since we are talking about how much of the limiting reactant reacts with the excess, then we have to look at the balance equation where they are shown. So this is our limiting reactant and this is our excess reactant. So the ratio is 2 moles of N2H4 is to 1 mole of N2O4. Alright, so in here we can write uh, 2 moles below, okay, because that is what's stated in our stoichiometric or balance equation. So 2 moles N2H4. And on top of it, since we want to get how much of the excess reactant actually reacted with the limiting, so that's one mole, N2O4. Again, we got this from the balance equation. Alright? So this is 4. Now we can cancel and cancel grams, or cancel moles rather. 
After that one, we may add another conversion factor such that we will end up with the amount in grams of N2O4. So this is uh, 92.01 grams. So this is the molar mass of the nitrogen tetroxide. And then one mole of N2O4. All right? Now we can cancel, we can cancel. So now we can get the amount in grams of the excess reactant which reacted with our limiting reactant. So in here I can have a, I'll have a value of 143 grams of N2O4, all right? So here we have the value of the amount in grams that react of N2O4 that reacts with our limiting reactant. So how do we know the number or the amount in excess? We go back to what is given. Okay? We know that initially uh, N2O4 is 200, right? uh, that's 2 times 10 to the second. So that's practically 200 grams. So what we can do is just subtract. Okay, so the amount amount of excess reactant after the reaction or the mass rather is just basically the difference between the total minus the reacted uh, value. So initially, we know that the total number of N2O4, total mass of N2O4 was 2.00 times 10 to the power of 2 grams N2O4. So we subtract it with what we have stoichiometrically determined, which is 143 grams. So minus 143 grams. So this is the one that was uh, reacted, the actual number, actual mass of N2O4 that reacted with the limiting reactant. So what we can get now is 56, okay? That's... Uh, 200 minus 143, that's 56 grams of N2 O sub 4. Alright? So that's the amount or that's the mass in grams of the excess reactant left after the reaction. Alright? That's 56. So again, what did we do here? We calculated uh, the amount of excess reactant that we acted that we acts with our uh, limiting reactant all right so stoichiometrically we determined it and then we subtracted the calculated value from the total number of excess reactant in the given all right so i hope you'll find this helpful later on thank you very much and have a nice day